Good morning and welcome to Mrs. Bell Sweet Treats and More. Welcome to another winter day. I am here in Massachusetts and our weather has been really, uh, it's not unusual. We've had mild winters recently and now we are facing our winter. I hope things are well with you. You enjoyed your holiday and you're getting back into your groove of yourself, spending time with yourself. Today I'm going to be making something really simple. It's a cauliflower soup. I like the flavor of cauliflower. I like broccoli as well, but broccoli has a different bite, even though sometimes they taste the same to me. And I've got here some potatoes, some cauliflower fresh. You can use frozen, of course. And I have my vegetables. I have a yellow onion, a green onion, I have red pepper, I have some carrots and the celery and some garlic. And of course, we're gonna get started. I am excited about this because it's one that I get to, um, it's one I get to savor and eat myself. Many times I make things for other people and I eat as well, but this one is a special one for myself. I'm gonna be getting my pot Hot. I'm going to add some olive oil and some butter for flavor, and I'll be right back. Well, my butter and olive oil are ready. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm going to add my vegetables. I'm excited because of the aroma. I'm going to add my onions and peppers, carrots and celery first, and then I'm going to come back and add my broccoli add my garlic. Here are our vegetables. And now I'm gonna add my garlic. And let that go for another couple minutes and I'll be back. While I'm back, sauteing the garlic and I am going to now add some chicken stock. I like better than bouillon and I use, if I can find, this one is a reduced sodium. It's still a lot more sodium than I would use but I'm not adding any additional salt to my veggies, but I am adding salt to my, I'm adding the secret ingredient and that's salty as well. So this helps. So I'm adding this to my, I have some boiling water here and I like to have this going to go ahead and add this stock I just made and there's still some in the bottom. I like this recipe because it is not complicated. I'm going to bring this to a boil and then I'm going to add my potatoes and my secret ingredient. Goodness, goodness. I have a nice boil here. I don't know if you can see that steam. I'm going to add my potatoes. And of course it's gonna, the boiling is slowing down. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of my secret ingredient. I'm adding about a quarter of a packet. And if I'm gonna measure it, I'm gonna, I'm adding about that much, about a quarter of a packet. 
And again, this has salt in it as well as my, even though my Better Than Bouillon has reduced salt, it still has quite a bit of salt for my liking. And now I'm gonna add my cauliflower. And I rinsed it. I like to rinse my vegetables in baking soda or salt, really give them a nice soak to get anything out. This is just the water from after I rinsed it. It's not the soaking water but I don't want any additional water in this right now. Now, I'm gonna try to show this to you and see how it looks. Hmm. It's not easy to do this. One day I'm gonna become a better, better at this, but I want you to see what it looks like. We're gonna reduce this to low, put the top on it, and let it simmer just a little bit, and then I'll be back. I wanna uh, tell you about a little bit about this soup. I like soup that I can bite into. I like texture. Many people make the soup and they puree it, you can put it in your blender very carefully, of course, um, in batches probably, so you don't hurt yourself because it's, it's hot. I like texture. I like to, to bite an onion. I like, I don't like to bite a chunk of garlic, but I like texture. I like to taste my potatoes and cauliflower. For me, I'm not going to puree it. You can. Um, puree it and I'll put an instruction on the end for those that do but I am not going to so we'll be right back well I'm back and our soup is ready I am going to give myself a bowl it smells so good of course, I'm partial, and it's really good with the, um, I love pepper, black pepper, fresh ground. Mm. I'm gonna let you see this, and then I'm gonna put the camera over it. Here's a bowl. Mm. You can see the vegetables. Together we can do this. I hope you get to make it. If you get a variation, let me know. Have a good one.